Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for March 16th until 23rd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. All right. Oh. The magician. Uh, um. Oh, there you go. You're moving. Well, it seems like someone who's an air sign is kind of lying to you. Oh, well, it's new. Okay, Virgo. Be very careful with your money. Okay, it seems like you're spending more than you can earn at this, you know, at this time or this week. And you need to be a little bit more con conservative with your budgetings, with your expenditures, or with your money. All right? Now, um, <coughs> you know, there are actually two fire signs that's been playing around with you. One who's an older male fire sign and around f late 40s fire sign woman, okay? And both of them are just playing tricks on you. They're ganging up on you or they're just simply, you know, teaming up on how to take advantage of you. Now, you will be moving in the month of April or you're going to be moving within the next four weeks. However, there is someone that you'll be lying to or that you or someone will be lying to you, which is an air sign woman, Okay. Now, a part of this, you want to have a brand new beginning. You really want to have a, a full control of your destiny in your life as to where your direction you will be taking off. And uh, you already have an idea. Okay. But the thing here is, there is someone who is a mother figure. Either this is a, your baby mama or, you know, your actual mother who will be broken hearted because... You know, they don't want you to be away from them or they don't want you to move away from them. But you feel like this is what you really need. And you, you just want to search for yourself, look for a brand new opportunities and look for a, you know, like a better, um, better path. However, I feel like just be very careful. Okay, I already pulled four cards anyway. So ju let's just uh, lay this down. There is someone who lives far from you. You know, if this is the reason why you're moving, and this, and, and if this is the reason why you are pursuing this, um, moving to a new place, new city, new area, or a new house, you know, because of this person who lives far from you, think long and hard again. Because I feel like this person has been hiding from you about a particular bet uh, betrayal that's been ongoing already, and it had already started... Uh, 10 weeks or 10 months or 10 days ago, okay? And you will find out about the truth within a month from now. And you'll be feeling sorry for yourself. Now, you will be regretting the decision that you'll be making because a part of this decision, you will be losing an opportunity. Either you're, you know, you'll be resigning from a job just to you know, just to move or just to relocate. And then all of a sudden you'll be discovering that you just made the, the wrong decision and you just made the wrong move. Now this, you know, we are still in a retrograde. And if you can hold on to that, you know, to that thought or to that plan of yours to move, just try to wait until the, the retrograde is over and I feel like there is more of a big possibility that you will just suddenly have more clarity if this is the right thing to do or not. But if, you know, if it's already done, it's, it's, you're all packed and you've said goodbye to your landlord and uh, stuff like that, then okay. Just be prepared with the consequences of it. Okay. Now, <coughs> you are more looking forward towards positivity and uh you know uh more happiness brand new beginnings and you feel like this is where you're really destined to be but like what i said this is a, a very devious and uh indecisive moment for most of us 
And right after three weeks or right after four weeks, you will suddenly feel and realize that you have made the wrong decision. So proceed with caution. Like what I said, if you can postpone or reschedule or if you can just, you know, sit down, relax and think long, hard and ponder first before finalizing your decision, please. Because there is a big regret that's going to be coming your way because of this. Now, you'll be moving away from your family. Either this is your own family or it could be your biological family. But whatever happens, you need to be a little bit more upfront and uh, realistic with your decisions. And hopefully that you have some open eyes and open-minded um, approach to life instead of just looking into one possibility then that's it you'll be discarding some of the consequences that you might incur or that you might uh, you know have along the way now there are two people that you are uh, that you're thinking about and balancing one is the person that you really want to be with and one is that person has been trying to hold you back but What's more important is that what serves you well and who makes you happy, okay? Now, there is a good news about work that will be coming your way, and you'll be delighted to hear from this since that you've been waiting for this or anticipating for this news to come for the past eight days or eight weeks already. And you're thinking that maybe that offer will never, ever come anymore. But you know what? This week, you will be receiving it. And I feel like this is the moment that you have been waiting for to make a final decision. And even if this letter will come or this communication or correspondence will be landing your way, still, you know, weigh your options first. Otherwise, if you feel like this is really the right one for you and intuitively this is what your spirit guides are trying to provoke you, then, you know, go ahead with it. Um... You're really walking away from somebody from the past as well. And um, you're up for a new beginning. You you feel so positive, so into it. And so, you know, it's like this is what you really need and this is what you really want. Now, mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Well, they, there are a lot of people from the past that, that are really coming into different signs, actually. I've been pulling a lot of cards uh, from uh, for different signs. And there are different people from the past that will be getting in touch with you. Um. Okay, now here's the thing. Uh, there is a younger Earth sign that will be getting in touch with you and this is somebody that you consider as your soulmate or someone that you shared your past life with okay and finally well i feel like this person is extraordinarily in intelligent but crazy on the side and then you want to <laughs> well there is a possibility or there's like a, like an inclination that you will be um that you want to take into cons I mean, uh, whatever this person will be offering, you, you want to take it into consideration. And um, you have to weigh down your options, okay? You need to make a decision that you feel and that you think will be best for you. Like what I said, if you can hold on or if you can just hold this off, this whole moving thing, this whole transfer thing, because there will be a regret that you will be making right at the end of the month, okay? Or by next month. So, plan ahead, think carefully, and wait for more things to unfold this week. Because there will be a lot of people that will be coming back from your past, and you will be confused about what is it that you really want to do at this point. Alright, so, anyway, that's it for you for this week. We are going, if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.